The tribe has spoken, naming cattle rancher James J.T. Thomas Jr. the sole survivor. The 24-year-old from Sampson, Alabama, takes home bragging rights and a bunch of money. And he joins us now for our Survivor Spotlight. J.T., congrats to you. Thank you, Joe. Thank you very much. Sure thing. Well, I know all of Alabama was rooting for you. What do you make of the response that you received back home? Man, I love it. They're, the fans have been very supportive. I'm glad everyone's behind me, you know, because it's a, it's a, sometimes it can be good, sometimes it can be get, uh, bad. You know, you never know how people's going to respond, but that people have been really behind me, and it's, a, it's an opportunity of a lifetime. Yeah, for only the second time in Survivor history, the winner received a unanimous vote from the jury, but you didn't think it was going to be that simple when you took Stephen to the final tribal council. No, I had no idea. You know, I, I expected it was going to be a very close race uh, with Stephen and myself in the final two, but, uh, you know, it was a decision I had made before the opportunity came to make the decision, so I just stuck with my heart and, and took him, and I think that really, uh, you know, that really sealed the deal because people saw how big of a decision it was for me, and I still, you know, stood true, and I think that really helped me when it comes time to, uh, for the votes to be made. Well, who do you feel like was your biggest competition in this game? Oh, Steven was definitely my biggest competition in this game, no doubt about it. He was the only other person out there that was playing a, as a strategic game as I was. We were there to win. Any plans yet for the million dollar prize and are you going to keep farming? I'm definitely going to keep farming. Uh, you know, I love the cattle. I love what I do. And I love my job in Mobile, BE Cattle. Uh, I'm going I'm to keep working, you know, do that. And then as for the million bucks, I'm going to put it somewhere and invest it. And, Maybe even start a business down the road, maybe even a partnership or something. We'll see, but uh, it, it's incredible. Sounds good. All right, JT, congrats again, and thanks for talking with us today. Thank you, Joe. And he's one of the nicest guys the show's had on since Colby back in season wow. two. Luther, I think they're going to go to Samoa next season. Really? For a Treasure yeah. Island theme. Hey, that, that's a beautiful country. Yeah. Never I'm, been there. Yes, I have. I have. You've been there. I'm, I'm so are awesome. you going to try out for Survivor? <laughs> No. <laughs>